Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Well, what I'm more concerned about is that, yeah, see what Lewis is doing here? Just walk right in with him. Don't yeah. stop. Because if you stop, he stops. Then you play this tug game. Right. So now he's here. He's got a loose leash. In a minute, he'll drop it. And then we'll take the leash off. Now, you see here, even the dog's trying to get away. We're just trying to keep him calm. Yeah. Give him a treat or something. Just show him there's nothing to be worried about. Right? Yeah, he's just scared. So now he'll probably just kind of check out. And if he does, that's okay. Because he'll learn a lot from that experience by... You're the life of the party. You're the life of the party. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the part of the decompression stage. This guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll pet him, I'll reassure him, and I'll kind of let him be independent. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Look at that. Look at that. No? I'm like you. You're a as much as possible, you want to you want to make sure you reassure them if they come back to you, but you want to make sure that if 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 you're here, let them experience the play group because what te what people tend to do in the group too much is they'll start playing with this dog and then playing with and it becomes about your ego, and if your ego is involved, then you're creating a one on one, and then you can have things like resource guarding. So I want them to play. I want to encourage them. Go go play go play. And the more they do that, if they come back, good boy, okay, then I ignore them. Be careful. Your interaction could cause it not to be a play group, but just be your group. They're here you know. for each other. They're here for each other. You need to be the rules. If you see an issue, you're going to get in between it. But if they're playing well, then let them play, you know? Hey. That's how he's experiencing the group. Hey, you. Hey, you. <laughs> Yeah, and he's actually coming out of his shell by sitting there. Somebody guard the gate. So watch the gate now. Right away, he's going to get in front. Right. Yep. Right to the middle with the dog. Keep walking, 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 and then you'll see the dogs will start to gather, or they should start to gather around him a little bit. Or not. And it, it, you know, what, why not, though? It's because it's a big yard. It's Don't really you big. Smaller yard? You can let him uh, not yet. So watch, so here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a really good thing right there. And yeah, now watch him. He's good. So you can drop that leash for now. And ideally, you'd want to have a stopper down there. Because your stopper get past the ring. See it? So the stopper should be above the ring. And what happens if you lose the stopper? Just tie a little knot. And that'll keep him there. Yeah, but what's good now is remember that dog? Remember that white dog over there? He was sitting all alone, not bothered, not doing anything. And now this he's actually getting out and playing. Look at for the first time. For the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. That's what it takes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because you find the hi, hi, buddy. Hi, hi. Good, that good boy. You can even watch that white one. The way he's walking, he's getting a little more fluid. Softer. And now he's actually pursuing the other dog. Like he's actually engaging him. Oh, so basically, if, if, if I come up to you every couple of minutes and I do this, I do this, what do you think? The stick's not that bad. If the first time you see the stick, I go, then you go, oh, shit, right? It startles you. Yeah. So what I want to know is this is just this is an extension of my hand. It's like if I come up to you. It's a form of guidance. 
It's a form of guidance. We're not correcting or hitting dogs or punishing them. We're guiding them. So if he's doing something wrong and I go, he goes, oh, okay. Because my voice didn't work. My whistle didn't work. So I want him to know, hey, don't do that. It's like a replacement for your hand. The, yeah, they are awesome, yeah. Yeah, they're loud. But make sure that you've, you know, that you you UDA got right side up. He threw the soft stick. No? He just threw a soft stick. This one. Again, it's just if I can't get there in time, rather than me running up and putting that, that puts a lot of pressure on the dog if I come up to him like this. Yeah, but if I just do this. And then sometimes when I throw something, like they have throw chains in dog training. Yeah, exactly. Stuff. But you don't want to see who threw it. So I threw that. Now he's not scared of me. That thing came across the right. window. Right. Yeah. It's his behavior. I swear. His behavior caused it. He's fine. No, it doesn't have to play. He has to be in the group and he has to have manners. He doesn't have to interact. He doesn't have to play. He's not allowed to fight and he's not allowed to do stupid stuff. Good. Yeah. It's like a long haired dachshund or something. He's got allergies. Yep, new guy, fresh meat. So that's all good. See, now he's going through this reverse sneezing thing. So while he's going through that, if another dog bugs him, he might react in a way that he wouldn't react normally. You know? So be aware of that. A lot of times when dogs do that, if they're, if they're, if they're easy, you can hold their nose closed. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but if you hold their nose close, sometimes you'll see that it'll make them stop. Yeah. So we're just doing a lot of that. Okay, right. perfect. I don't mind a sniff or two, but if it's it's obnoxious, it's like a guy hitting on a girl at a bar. Yeah, if they go, hey, what's your name? It's cool. But if they keep going and going and going, yeah. And this leash is too long. It's just going to be a lot. It's going to get knots and stuff like that. So you can make two leashes out of that, though. What? Keep a number. Okay. All right. So now look at the dog. Watch the dog's fur on the back. Look at the look at the look at his hackles coming up. You don't know he's not happy. He's stimulated. Right. That's what you want to think about. Now watch how he interacts. Especially with his all the way down. Look at his hackles all the way down to his tail. Right, but it's just what you just want to watch. Right, no, right, right. no one thing means anything, so that's too much, right? Hey, exactly, not at our parties. Yeah, exactly. Good. And you, yeah, dictate. Somebody get the gate. Okay, new dog. new dog. So you can drop that leash at this point. Yeah. Yeah, let us do it. Say it again. Both. Yeah, I don't want too many dogs on leash. That creates a lot of tension. And he's not really doing anything. His hackles are coming down more now because you got less of that tension in the leash. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with that one is, Gary, the only thing you gotta watch is is the uh, is the is the snap at the end. And the thing is too, if you have a dog with one other dog, hey, he might he's in the kennel with another dog, he might get along with that dog, or he may not get along with any other dogs. But if they're in a group like this, it shows they're social. It shows they're not gonna challenge dog. They may still fight your dog at your house, but they're not gonna Right. Yeah, and the other thing, like Lou was saying, it's play, but you got to watch, see how small that dog is. 
he could break a leg easy. So he's got to monitor his play. Yeah. Yeah. They growl and bark and do all that stuff. Yeah, he's doing really good for a jack. The t the old oh yeah yeah that's good yeah and see look at the poodle now he's getting better and better he's having a nice time nice yeah oh really let's take that leash off because he may not move with that leash on hey we want to watch this guy because he's a little just a little butthead hey. Yeah, that's perfect right there. It's really nice. And then at any point you want, you disconnect. You get up and walk away. So he starts to learn, okay, I can come here, I can get reassured, he's going to protect me, but now it's time to go see other dogs. See, now he's venturing out. Now he's going to go to Lewis, which is good. She. But the more interaction you guys do with the dogs, this is the key point. She's feeding him, Lewis feeding him, you're feeding him. Now it becomes a feed fest. They got, to, they got to learn to interact with each other. So every once in a while, you can give them reassurance and then disconnect. Because right? it's a play group, not a training hour. Not a pedathon. Not a pedathon, exactly. That's a good one. <laughs> 